Don't play for me like that ever again. Just so you know, it's never gonna happen again. If I put you on that pitch, you give 100%. Don't get caught cool on your heels. Talk. When, um, when the ball's coming in the air, um, <coughs> sometimes like struggling to take it down or like head the ball forward. Listen, let me tell you something now. Even the way you lot are talking is the way you play. You're talking like you can't be bothered. That is how you lot play. That's how you're coming across. Like you can't be bothered. You've got another half to turn this around. It's a beautiful thing about football. So you need to settle yourselves down. Stop giving the ball away cheaply. Look after it. Do you understand? Yes. Go out there and win this game. Come on, boys. Let's go. Hey, hey, Sam. Sam, that was your fault because you didn't listen. This Sam, listen to me. That what you just done? That was why you scored. Understand it. Understand what you just done. Well done, buddy, buddy, buddy. Listen to him. I can't believe what I just watched. You were waiting for me to say something. What are you waiting for? Huh? Not about me, what I say. It's about you lot. Talk to each other. You're the ones that are out there. That, I don't want to see this ever again. Just so you know, I'm done. Speak to each other. Right back now, I don't like any of you, apart from Mo. Thanks, Lance. They wanted it more than us. Your people are winning their individual battles. They came on Yeah, no information is great. All right, my last parting word of you lot, no discipline. Zero discipline. Hey, look, let's go. Thank you. I started in year four. I was playing for the school team, but I didn't have a club to go to. And then my mum asked my teacher what club she would recommend, and she recommended Edmonton United, and that's basically where it started from. I never liked football at first, but he's got me into it. Yeah. He breathes football, he eats football, he smells football, everything is football. He's broken all my flower pots. Yeah, because he's kicking balls in the garden. Look at this. Breaking my flower pots, everything. You know, I've had his breaks, he's always doing that. Children need to run around, ride bicycles, jump, climb trees, jigger me, do things. But he doesn't get to do that because I'm scared. I'm scared. I feel it's not safe around here. It's it's just a bit hard growing up here. Like you you're distracted by so many things. It's like, there's so many factors that can like, influence you to do st stuff that are not positive, like in terms of, um, say, getting in involved in gangs and stuff like that, instead of like, doing your education and doing what you love. Hey, hey, come man, come man, please don't. Hey, just pee out, bro. Yes, sir. Love that, there you go. And again, good. Well done, June. Keep that information on that bus. Keep your information on your passes. Listen to your captain. Clip. Love that. Well done, you two. Brilliant. Oscar, have a look at it. Movement, Godwin. Godwin! No, 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 no. Stop. Go back. Go back. Hurry up. That's dead. Let me tell you why it's dead. This is your movement. Play the ball. That's your movement. I'm not interested in that. You must know that by now. This is what I'm interested in. Yes, come on, please. Sit, get up, get up, get up. Look at the footwork. I'm already here. Here, come, Bows, go. Tidy, come on. Get it out, get it. Nice up, eyes up. 
Right, all that lethargic, slow, pedestrian does not interest me. You must know that bores the hell out of me. I've just shown you what it looks like. A 30 years age gap. Do not let me see that again. As I said to you, I'm bringing in better players now. I told you already. So pattern up, as you lot like to say. Pattern up your game. Give me any of them dead looking at the floor passes. You're sitting on the bench with me every week. It's as simple as that. As soon as I see something I don't like, red! You know what happens after that. You're off. Somebody else gets the opportunity. Can I trust you? Yes, coach. What? You're another liar. Ref! He's off as well. <laughs> and then I'll just keep looking for players until we get it right. Is that clear? Yeah. It's a wrap. See you lot later. Right, now you've got triangles. Instead of a rectangle, you now have a triangle. Somebody's got a lead. Someone's going to lead. Three balls. Timing. Timing. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. Good. And time. Just. Who is it this time? Max Matthew always going over there. Big sprint. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, good. One more, one more, one more. Who wants it more? Who wants it more? Come on, this is that five-yard sprint we're talking about. Who wants it more? Between you and... There you go. That's more like it. And again, that's the difference. There you go. That's the levels we're talking about. High level, high levels, high levels. Good. High level. Here it is. There it is. Time! Excellent work. Superb effort. Click the cones up for me, please. Bring them in. So that's... Your one done. So that's five short. Basically, it's £40 pound a session. Don't worry yourself too much today. Just chill. When I only played 15 minutes against Arsenal, they didn't want to play me because I was injured. The same thing happened to my son. That's why they didn't give him the scholarship, because he had an injury. Then they extended the trial. Then it was a choice where he got to that point where scholarships have now been given out. And then after that, it was, sorry, Darren. And that was hard to take. But, um, and it's even harder to take when you're an employee and you actually work for the club. You feel like you should be able to pull strings and all the rest yeah. of it, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Otherwise, the academy director would have his son playing in the first team. Exactly. Do you realise, yeah, it's 40 years since I was here. 40 years I was last here, playing out in this little bit here. Oh my gosh, it looks so different. It looks so much, everything looks smaller now as you get older, isn't it? This was my balcony, so you'd have been talking about 1981. This was the balcony we used to, I used to look out from. Sometimes jump down when I couldn't be asked to come all the way down the stairs. Just hang and jump. As I'm doing it, I can just things are flooding back to me. Memories such as falling off my bike, cutting my eye, which I've still got the scar to this day. There's another incident where my old man's come upstairs. He asked my mum, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? Why is he just sitting there and not saying nothing to no one? It's because it transpired that some bigger boy out here troubled me and taken my bike. So in terms of resolving the issue, we've come outside, the bigger boy got caught. Me and my other brother at the time put it on him. So we literally went to town on him under the supervision of my dad. So he was not allowed to hit back and we could just practice as much as we wanted to on this guy. You know when you've got people trying to raise a pit bull and they're raising that dog to be aggressive and fight and things like that? That's how he was raising me and my, my brother, if you like. As far as he's concerned, he had this vision that this is how we are, this is who we are, and my boys need to come up in this world and not be taken lightly, basically. One, two, two, rotate that foot, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, turn that wrist, good, eight, better, start again, one, two, three, four, come on, come on, coordinate, five, six, here, seven, eight, hands up, hands up, protect yourself, protect yourself, good, stance, guard, one, Two, three, four, 
Five, six, seven, eight. Right, now you're gonna go and flurry. Go, speed, speed. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, five. Yeah, good, hands up. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, remember those are uppercuts, yeah? Go, let's go. One, two, three, four, uppercut, uppercut, good, body, body, go. One, two, three, four, uppercut, uppercut, body, body, come on. Straights with knees up, go, go. Come on, coordinate, coordinate, good, good. There you go, now you're coordinated, love that. Straighten those arms out, straighten them up, straighten them up, straighten them up. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, and time. Well done, that's your boxing done. Gloves off. That's just an introduction, yeah? A couple minutes, that's all you need. Darren is the middle name. So my name is effectively Cass Darren Johnson. So Cass as in the person that I thought was my dad. He was a mad boxing fan. So he was a very much into Muhammad Ali at the time. In the, I'm not sure if you're aware, but Muhammad Ali was formerly known as Cassius Clay, hence Cass. So as soon as I came into the world, it's Cass. He's definitely a Cass. But then obviously professionally, I used the name Darren. So they're almost two split characters. So I would say Cass is that guy from back in the day. Darren is this guy, the professional, the coach, the mentor, the role model, all the rest of it. I spent the first seven years calling my sister's dad, dad. So I didn't realize that wasn't my dad for the first seven years of my life. Didn't really want to have another dad at that time. I was fine with the first one I had sort of thing. And then he got involved in some yardies, some altercations. There was some argument over some contract, money, this, that, the other. And then it turned out that one of them or a gang of them came in the house one day and stuck up my dad with a shotgun whilst me and my sister's in the bedroom next door. The next thing I knew, he was in jail for attempted murder. So obviously he's tried to get revenge on the people that have come in the house. This is it, boys. This is the fucker. This is the heart of the ghetto, if you want, for a better word. This is where it all starts, Broadwater Farm. So this is where I grew up, summer holidays. Again, this is with my dad when he came out. This is where he literally moved into. Just one of that block over there. So every holidays, me and my brothers and sisters would be over here. To be fair, as a child growing up, it was fun. This estate was fun, let me tell you now. You can literally go from one block. You wouldn't have to touch the floor. You could literally go all the way around. Huh? That fo football coaching. Yeah. You just saw this car pull up just now with the blacked out windows. In that car, believe it or not, there's gang members in there. But when we say gang members, people are targeting them like they're, just, they're horrible. They're not, they're subhumans. They're not. The media is calling them gang members. That's the difference. They're a bunch of kids who grew up together, who went to school together. So happens is they're now falling on the same problems as in mum's laid off or dad's ain't got a job or dad's in prison. I don't even know who my dad is or whatever the case may be. But half of these kids are already disadvantaged. There's where I come into it. Yeah. Guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna give you a map. I don't have to hold your hand. If at any time you get stuck, come back to me and I'll help navigate you through all the pitfalls that you will find to be successful young, rounded individuals. It's hilarious watching them. It's like watching um, Country File, isn't it? It's like watching Country File. Look, like sheep. You know the dogs herding the sheep. Let me have a conversation with them. We talked about this last week. Jog in, every single one of you little people, come here quickly. Right? Can anybody remember what I said last week? Go on, remind me. Positions, that's good boy. Well, you need to 
together. Can't stay together, good. Stick it together too much. And where did I say spread out? Spread like what? A butter. Spread like butter. So, do you think you're doing that right now? What am I watching, do you think? You're not spreading like butter. Everybody's chasing the ball. It looks absolutely silly. It doesn't look like a football match. Do you know what it looks no. like? Have you ever watched, you ever watched um, those sheep dogs when they got a herd of sheep into the, into yes. the... That's what it looks like. Like a dog chasing sheep. Okay, so are you all sheep now? Are you sheep? Good. Right, so guess what you're going to do next? Go and stand in your positions. Let me see what that looks like. What have you done to your laces, young man? I didn't tie them. Did somebody just go and knock them up for you? Do you know I charge kids to do laces? Do you know I charge for this? Do you know how much I charge? Guess. Have a guess. Can you afford it? 